Hi everyone, it's Tanya from Cup of Cha. We're out in the backyard and today we're going to be discussing tea bags. Over the last few weeks I've been asked a lot about the tea bags, so let's talk about it. About a month ago, uh, an article on social media, Facebook, um, written by Lindsay Miles of Treading My Own Path, came to my attention. It was about the plastic that's used within tea bags. It's the glue, it's used as the glue to hold the paper together. And um, the mission of her company, is, her community, is about sustainable living. So she was quite surprised about the level of plastic within tea bags. And she is recommending to all her people to go to infusers, which I'm not against at all. And I suppose this is a time to highlight the fact that there have been different arguments about tea bags. It's about the plastic in them, about the bleaching processes that go on in producing the tea bags. But now I want to look at, I'm a tea person, so I don't use tea bags. And I want to look at the reasons why we would use a tea bag. And why in they the 80s, the tea about. bags started becoming very popular in Australia anyway. And the whole idea was about that single use of that tea bag for when you're just making a cuppa by yourself and it's the convenience of not using a teapot. And back then it was either a teapot that you used or then your tea bag. So it was understandable why it became very popular for on the go. But to be honest, I don't understand why it's still there. If you go into the big supermarkets, it's very hard to buy loose sleeve tea. And tea bags are still very, um, a large part of the shelves that are out there. On the shelves, I should say, that are out So when we evaluate the teas in there, the tea that was first put in there should be still sitting with that ratio of two grams per 170 mils of water. 170 mils is your old traditional tea cup that would um, just be sm slightly smaller than this one here. This one is actually 250 and the 170 is probably just a little bit smaller, not much, but then you have to consider you don't fill it to the brim. Nowadays, a lot of us use a mug. We tend to go to the mug, which is about 350. Using one tea bag is not gonna do it. And I just recently, I just opened one up and I weighed the contents in it and it's actually 1.8 grams. So it's still a little bit, they've just cut back a little bit on the gramage as well. You'll also find there's other tea bags out there, the pyramid ones that are also um, sold as quality and that there's more room for the tea to move in there. And that may be the case for some teas, but I can also tell you that a quality tea will not come in the tea bag. It's just, you don't put it in a tea bag at all because it needs more room. You actually need something like the size of this infuser. And for me, I, when I'm at home by myself and I'm just making myself a cup of tea or I've got other people and they want different types of tea, I actually use a large infuser like this. I put it inside my mug. I add my about three grams to this and then I pop the lid on, I'll let it infuse. I then take it out of there. I pop it on a little tray to the side, or you can just pop it around that way. And then I come back later and I re-infuse those leaves again. Because with loose leaf, full leaf tea, you can reuse those teas. Like I say, the tea bag was used for a single serve use only. So we've cut open now the CTC is usually, it's cut very fine within a tea bag. And sometimes it's just the dust you're getting within a tea bag as well. Now there's, you can get some good quality CTC, so I'm not dismissing that, but it is a quick way of processing the tea to keep the cost down. But it all, is all about one infusion, not like the multiple infusions you can get from a full leaf. I'm gonna cut open this one as well. This is actually, uh, Japanese company, the Japanese tea. And I know some of my Japanese friends don't, in a pinch, will use tea bags for when they're traveling as well, because they feel it's not too bad. Now, not everyone's gonna travel with a little guy one set, like I have here. And I understand that. 
it gets a little bit, the real tea nerds tend to do that. But at the same time, I don't see what's wrong with packing the tea that you really enjoy and packing one of these. It makes life so much easier. However, if you still decide to use the tea bags, just be aware of the differences in between that. This one is a you. black tea from Taiwan. And you can see the size of the leaf here. That is actually two grams there. And this is the CTC and the 1.8 grams of that. And you can see that it's cut, that CTC is cut for a quick infusion and a single use infusion. So I've shown you now what's inside a tea bag and really the, all the implications of using a tea bag in regard to the plastic and the sustainability. Very few companies use a completely plastic free tea bag out there. So why use tea bags when you have lower quality tea, um, they're taking forever to break down, when you can switch to a quality infuser that will just keep on using and using and using for years to come, it's easy to travel with. The question I do ask is why do cafes still keep using tea bags? There's really no excuse for them at all. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to send me any questions that you would or topics you would like me to cover or questions you'd like me to answer. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed as yet. Please like it. If you like it, I'd really love the thumbs up button and share with your friends and, and acquaintances out there and family too. See you next time.